Hey, we are back with another color fun slay. My client has been natural pretty much all of her life and she wanted to come in today to do something different. She really wanted to do like a deep, deep red. So that's what we started with. Using the Provana color um, 7RR um, and 6.5 um, and we're using 30 volume because she wanted a deep red and she didn't want it to be too, too bright. I'm doing it a little differently this time to show you some different techniques. We are doing zigzag partings and I'm gonna do each panel, each thick panel with the opposite color. So I'm starting with the deeper red here and then I'm gonna start with the other color on the next panel. I'm only starting at the mid shaft to the ends is because I don't want her hair to process faster. I want everything to be blended. I don't want her roots to be lighter than the rest of her hair. And once again, y'all know my technique. I don't like to put hair, like the color directly on the roots. I like everything to look natural. So even though we're starting at the mid shaft, we will go back in closer to her roots, but not directly on her roots. So once you get all of the color throughout the whole head, then you can go back and do the roots. It's complete. This is how it should look on the roots. As you can see, it's not directly on her root, giving it a more natural look. We then rinsed her with lukewarm water. We gave her a good wash and we then deep treated her hair underneath the steamer. Reason that we rinsed it out with lukewarm water is because she just got a fresh color and we wanna make sure that her color is going to be as vibrant as it needs to be. It will settle within a couple of days and you just wanna make sure that you're giving your client a great wash, especially when it comes to a silk press. is her color after we rinse out her deep conditioner. Beautiful. Pay close attention to how we do the blow dry. I am using the powder brush today. Um, I will be using the board brush also, but I'm gonna start off with this. I like the powder brush because it gives it more of a um, flatter blow dry, if that makes any sense. But with the board brush, it gives it more of a silk. Like it just silks it out a little bit better. Um, whenever you're doing a silk, a silk press, you have to make sure that the blow dry is on point. This is the most important part. This is what's gonna help her hair from, you know, puffing up or with the weather. Like you have to make sure that this is nice and flat. Pay close attention. in the boar brush. How shiny it is with this, this is what I'm saying. The boar brush gives it more of a silky, smoother look. straight her hair should be after the blow dry. I'm gonna go in with the diagonal parts. Y'all know how I feel about it. It's the best ever. We're gonna go in with my nano titanium plate flat irons and we're gonna silk it out. 
and then we're gonna go in for the trim. straight it should be after you silk out the hair properly and now we're going to go in and we're just going to do a light trim on her hair Also, all we did was wash and deep condition. I did not apply any serums or anything in your hair. So be mindful of the product that you use. She wanted more body curl. She didn't want anything too curly. So I'm going in with my um, Babyliss flat irons here and I'm just doing like large body curls. It really doesn't matter the direction that you're going in or the size of the parts. Just make sure that the curl has, you know, a lot of bump to it. creating the body in the front is everything goes back you see how I'm directing the flat iron to go back and I'm flipping it back that's how you create that layer curl look in the front I'm gonna show you again from this angle too going to take your watsu comb and comb it through see this is the look that she was going for it is absolutely beautiful it's giving life um and you know the color looks great also the deep red she wanted more of a subtle deep red and i gave her exactly what she was looking for You 
so much for subscribing to my mentorship. It really means a lot. Leave your comments and questions down below. Thank you.